All right, folks, well, we're going to use the Android app of Jamboard. And to access the Android app, you simply need to go to the launcher for your Chromebook. And I'm going to start typing in Play. And I'm going to see Play Store here. And when I do that, I will be able to see all of my Google Play apps. And I'm going to use Jamboard. And click Open, and it will open up my Jamboard app here. When I do that, it will allow me to click on the little plus sign at the bottom here. That will create a new untitled jam. I'm going to click on the three dots so I can rename this. And I'm going to call this uh, test three or test four and click rename. And now I can use my jam board. And you'll notice that there are some extra little additions along the um, the toolbox here. I have a little plus sign here, which means that I can add um, a sticky note, images, drive content, a camera, image library, and stickers. So it's a, a little more functional than just the web app, app. I can also click on the tool for my pen and choose the different um, pens that I want. So I'm going to choose this one here with this color and you can see a nice fine line there. I'm going to choose a different color with a different pen. You can see it's slightly different. I can choose a different color with a different pen and this one is going to give me more of that highlight view, right? And then this one is the paintbrush here and you'll see that the paintbrush really is a is kind of that nice um, allows you to fill in without really covering over your other lines at all. You'll also notice that there are some assistive drawing tools here. So if you click on that, you can click on the text and it's going to change your text that you write into um, into actual text. So this is cool right and each one of these now operate um, independently of the other so i can move them around and you know place them where i want to um, i can duplicate or delete them so i can use the assistive tool for text i can also use it for shapes Right? And that means that, um, whoops, let me go in here on a different color here. So if I make a triangle, it's going to make a nice triangle for me. You can also use this tool, which is the draw tool. And when I do that, it will actually um, draw or try to guess what I'm drawing here. So if I, if I took this shape here, and I added some eyes, you'll start to see different things that are, are happening here. So I'm going to do this and this, and then I'm going to start drawing some whiskers here. And it's thinking through and saying, what are you trying to draw here? And, oh, I really wanted to draw this, be, for this to be a mouse. And so I can say, this is the one I wanted, and it's going to change that into a mouse. Right, um, so you can do that with any one of these tools. So if I just start drawing, right, it's going to go through and say, "What were you trying to draw?" And I wanted to draw some bread, right? And I can take that and move it over and um, leave it there. So there's more functionality with the draw tools here, and there's also more functionality with this. So I can come in and say, "Oh." I wanted something from the image library and it's going to go through and look at my drive for any images that I have. So if I had something in my Google Drive that was any one of these picture files here, it's going to go through and start sort searching for those and I can scroll through my Google Drive and, um, and look for all of those different um, image files. And it really, right now, it's looking through my entire drive. So it's going to um, 
take a little bit of time for it to find my images here. Um, and once I can scroll through, I can go through share drives. and I can click on recent and it'll go through all of my recent files as well. So just like you would for any kind of Google file, you can do the same here. So it's going to take that and what it's done is it's created, it's taken that image file for me and placed it here. Now look how small it is, right? I can stretch my screen out um, And when I stretch it out, I can um, use my mouse tool, my my image tool to kind of take this and make it a little bit bigger. So now, because I've done that, um, that's kind of the size that I want, and I can um, pinch my screen back down, and now I have this nice little um, image that I can put here and take my pencil tool again. And I just want a straight pencil tool and I want this orange color and I can go in and say all right this is you know this is what we're gonna be working on right and I can do um, anything that I wanted to in here by adding sticky notes image libraries this has a bunch of stickers that I can add and I can take the sticker and just slide it on my screen right? so it's really um, has a lot of valuable uses in terms of the functionality that's available to me um, on on the Android app. So I am going to um, click on that, and um, I'm basically able to take anything um, in my Jamboard and. Uh, you know, edit it how I need to and then pinch my screen down so it, this really operates more on that touch tool um, and with teacher Chromebooks and the stylus you can actually access more of the functionality through your Android app